This, this is why, this is why I work with Jeff Lewis, full service. Shane, push the leaves into the flower bed like we, like we normally do. <laughs> I just, is this why they always blow in there? I, I can't even say it's my home. I'm, we're gonna show our, our home. Our home, good, Our Thank home you. to the world. Thank you for AD. correcting yourself. I needed to renovate the, the front of the house because this, this is what you see the first time you come to anyone's home, the front of their home. This is, this is what's inviting to you, this is welcoming. And, and I wanted you to come into my home as a guest and feel that you're at an, an oasis. And when we get to the backyard, you, you see how all of this ties in together and what that means. You know, I was introduced to Jeff because I was a fan of him. We met and, online. And, and watching him. <laughs> no, we met at that place yeah. in Palm Springs. I sent him a few pics. He responded. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we, met Exo we met at Exotic Dreams in Palm Springs. <laughs> we met at Exotic Dreams We've in Palm Springs. We've been wanting to go there together. <laughs> I got a phone call. They said, Jeff Lewis is doing a new show, uh, Hollywood House Lift. And they, they want to know if you want to have something done. I met with Jeff. He was a cool dude. I told him I was a fan of his. Now it's two years. We still haven't even scratched the surface. We pretty much designed the whole front entry around the water features. I had an idea of what I wanted. You came in with your idea, and we married them. Uh, I just always wanted a water feature here. It's tranquil and all that. I always try to incorporate water features in my in my houses. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually good feng shui. I agree. I think it attracts money. In your case, it, sure, it certainly has. It's attracted a lot of money. I think <laughs> probably because you have six spouts. <laughs> we should add some more spouts. <laughs> yeah. But we can talk about the tile. Okay, but this is where you drag me again. We had somebody that was installing on a Tuesday morning. The tile came in on a Monday night. When I arrived, the tile had been installed, but it was the wrong tile. And then you called me within minutes and mm -hmm. said, that is the wrong, you said it is the wrong tile. Mm -hmm. So I tore it out at my expense. We, we wanted a tile that kind of had a Spanish vibe, but we also wanted it to be very modern. Most of the house is kind of you know, black and white, so we decided to, to continue with the black and white theme. And, you know, we went with the black and white theme because, look. All I right. Did, I didn't put that together at the time, I but know. now it makes sense. The olive trees. The, the olive famous trees. olive trees. We went from 80-year-old olive trees to eight-month-old eight eight month olive trees. Eight weeks. They were eight weeks old. Why did you pick the olive trees? Because we've had this conversation. You're right. I was obsessed with the olive trees. Yes, I you thought were. it looked good with kind of that Santa Barbara, Spanish, you did. Montecito kind of vibe. You, you, you've done great work for me. You, you came here to help me build my dream home. And that's what you've done. I think I proved myself with the front yard, which is why you gave me the backyard, which is really, I mean, I think the backyard is like next level amazing. Well, speaking of the backyard, we should go in the back and look at it. OK. All right, you guys want to come along? Come along. You know, most fire pits that I, I grew up on seeing, they were round. Why did we decide to go square? I think most of the backyard is pretty linear. I think as a contrast to the roundedness of the house and right. then some of these walls are a little bit rounded. Yeah. Hey, Shane, can you light the fire, please? Ah, now that's a fire! Good job, Shane. Thank you. We had many passionate discussions about the pool. You increased the size by two feet on the width and two feet on the length and two feet on the, in the depth. Mm -hmm. And I actually think the scale's perfect. So I gave you credit where credit is due. I, and, and I'm giving you credit where credit is due because I like the design that you came up with. I mean, it's a very simple, minimal design. I think it's very clean. I don't think it distracts from anything else going on out here. I don't. And then how do you like swimming in the pool? Haven't been in it. Oh, really? Because you forced me for months and months and months to get water in it because you wanted to enjoy your pool, but you haven't yeah, been yeah. in it. OK. All right. Sure. <laughs> so you have a five-hole putting green here. This was a useless space, and it was your idea to put it up here, which was a good idea. So we ended up grading it. Have you used this? You have. Yes, I have. And it's a good party feature. And, you know, my buddy's bet, so we have a lot of fun back here. So this is a definite labor of love, but it took us a long time to build this. But it's worth it. And the, the structure is steel, and then we have the wood inserts as well. And then we added these for shade, so you see the cross beams. It, it lets in a really nice amount of light, but it also blocks the sun. Mm -hmm. and it gets hot out here uh, in the summer, but this, it stays remarkably cool out here. We talk about 
why we went with a concrete countertop as opposed to yeah. stone or whatnot. I find that this is very durable. There's no issues with the sun. We did seal it to resist staining. And then, you know, we added a lot of really nice features in here. So we, I love this sink. It's very utilitarian. I think uh, if you were to cook and barbecue, I, I could imagine this would assist you. And you do cook. I do. Which brings us to the barbecue. You, you picked a barbecue pit for me that I wouldn't normally use. You picked a gas grill. I picked a gas grill. And I was like, black people don't, don't barbecue with gas. We barbecue right. with charcoal. I was like, this is what white people do. We barbecue with gas. But this is dual, this is dual fuel. You can cook with wood, you can cook with charcoal, yep. and you can cook with, with gas. And we're gonna do all three over here. Yes, very inclusive. It is very important for me to create a space that you can come home and you can relax and you can recharge and unwind. I appreciate you saying that. I appreciate all of the hard work that you poured into my home. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate the huge budget you've given me. <laughs> what is it that you're looking forward to the most now in, in the next phase of our relationship or whatnot? I, to be honest with you, I'm excited about all of it. I'm excited about the pizza oven. I'm excited about the guest house. I'm also excited, really excited to get inside the house and start decorating wallpaper, window coverings. I have to get rid of some bad lighting choices by Anthony. I have to get rid of some bad uh, uh, hardware choices. I do like your interior doors though. Okay, thank you. Look, I want the inside to reflect the outside. Right now, the outside's better than the inside. Jeff, it sounds like you want me to put a ring on it. Do you want me I to do. put a ring I, on it? I want it? a ring. Okay, I I'm gonna put ring. a ring on it and we're gonna, we're gonna get inside the house soon. To see how all of this plays out on camera, you can watch Hollywood House Lift season two on Amazon Freebie. It premieres on December 6th.